just gone tight. Thank you, Clive. And, uh, well, Sebi, of course, is quite capable of uh, turning on the magic. But this is not an easy shot. As Clive said, the wind is uh, very brisk indeed. Mm. Greens are firm. Let's watch the rhythm of this shot. And he changes his... Uh, not a dress position, but he'll have sometimes two or three looks at the hole, sometimes only one, sometimes just waggles the club in a bit. On that occasion, nothing happened. The dead start. And in the sand, I fancy, he went for the big wedge. Should have taken Clive's advice. Sandy in the 12. He's got this four, par three. It's a pen of Jacobson, you can see his mark near the hole. Yeah. Tom Kite now at the 13th, second shot, Semi in the bunker, Tom Kite in the driving seat. Only about 90 yards or so to go. Seventeenth, Woosnam probably having a go at the green. He has to get a birdie here, surely, to keep the match alive. And I, he was attacking his second shot, and the ball caught the wind and moved away to the right, towards the spectators. Craig Stadler, who's been having a rather uncomfortable spell in the Ryder Cup, has the comfort of knowing that a half at either of the last two holes will be sufficient. You can see the tiny figure of Woosnam, the power he generates. The hole is 575 yards, and even with a bit of slice he had on that second shot, he's almost level with the pin. It's not bad. He's got it into within 10 feet. No, Stadler. Wind against. He can hit this quite sharply. Uh, well. shot. Two down. Well, he's there for three. Kite at the back of the green in two. Up to the 17th again and both, both players on the green for three but the situation is that Stadler only needs a half. We Stadler to putt first. This green swept by the wind, a very fast putting surface today. The greens at the Belfry have been in excellent condition for this Ryder Cup. There's not a lot of borrow here. Now this putt would uh, seal the match. Complete mishit, I think. Wisnum, well, I thought he would concede that, but 
They're conceding nothing to the walrus at the Tom Kite at the 13th. This putt to win the hole, go three up. Just swung too late. Now up to 17th. The old farmhouse in the background. And this putt from the tiny fighting Welshman to keep the match alive. This for a dirty four. Well, there you are. It could have been the wind that kept it out. And now Stadler has his putt for the match. And it's only about 14 or 15 inches. Even less, maybe a foot. So that's a two and one victory for the United States. Craig Stadler beating Ian Woosner. And Tony Jacklin moves in to congratulate the American. There's the score. The U Europe 10, the United States 8. Asteris at the 13th, this is for a par four. He's two down to Tom Kite. That was recorded, and now Kite with this putt. The three up. Three up and five. green or shaped rather like a, a map of Africa. Huge bunker guarding the pin. It's 194 yards this hole. T not quite at the back. I can tell you that the wind is absolutely across this hole and the green which slopes uh, with almost a step in the center of it slopes very much from right to left. There you see it. That slope in the center of the green, the pin almost in the center of the, the top level. Bunker on the right and a monster bunker on the left. In the match where I'm sure the fans were expecting great things from Ballesteros, but we must never count Tom Kite out. He's a, he's a wonderful player, very successful stroke player and has a tremendous fighting nature. I would think that he'll play a number three or a four iron here. It looks like a four. He used the wind then from the right. he allowed a touch too much and it's from that point that Ian Woosnam pulled his putt about 40 minutes ago. Mm. Ayesteros, uh, a longer hitter and you can see that he's using a club with considerable more loft. It's a five iron, it might, might even be a six iron. Have a relook, no, it's a five. Now, his shot yesterday, you saw at the opening of the program where he almost hold it, brought it to stand still about four inches from the hole. Could do with it now. A good shot. Take you down the scores. Pinero has won for Europe. Stadler has won for the United States. Score Europe 10, United States 8. Now, Way, Lyle, and Langer are all well up against their opponents. The Ballesteros is down as we know to kite. Torrance, two down now to Andy North. 
Howard Clark, two up against O'Meara, Faldo one up against Hooper Green. Rivera has halved every hole so far with Carl Pete. Canizares has just lost the sixth to go back to all square with Zeller, and Brown is two down to Strange. Current position, Europe up in five matches, the United States in four, and uh, two all square. Remember the magic figure for the win is 14 and a half. Europe need four and a half points from the remaining matches to win, and they currently, as the scoreboard stands, have more than that.